SoftDrip templates can save hours of preparation time for users with standardized output sizes and placement needs. You can use the template feature to specify image location, alignment, and scaling attributes. When you apply a template to a layout, you can drag and drop images from the file browser right into your template. Templates provide a perfect solution for layouts that are used repeatedly. In Wasatch SoftDrip, select Template and Show Template Editor. This will make the Template tab appear. Click on the Template tab. Ensure that the width and height of the template are appropriate for your media. Select the Add Rectangle tool to add a new template item to your template. Draw a rectangle in the template design area of the screen. All template items appear in a data box on the left-hand side of the screen. The item you are working on will be highlighted. Using this data box, you can now edit the properties of your template item. You have the ability to adjust the X and Y anchor coordinates for each template item. These coordinates are based on the orientation that is chosen for each item. The default orientation for all new template items is centered. To change the orientation, select the Orientation pull-down menu and choose a different setting. For this training, we will select the upper left option, so the image we place in this box will come in from the upper left corner. If we had selected the centered option, the image would come in from the center. You can also adjust the width and height of your template items. You can add multiple rectangular template items to the layout. You can also add items to your template that don't resize any of your images. This is done by adding a point template item to your layout. To do this, select the Add Point tool from your menu. Add a point template item to the layout by clicking on an empty space in the template design area. Just like the rectangle tool, the X and Y coordinates can be adjusted for the point tool. The orientation you select will dictate how an image is placed on each point. To change the orientation, select a different option from the orientation pull-down menu. For this training, we will select the upper left orientation. This will place the image from the upper left corner of the point. If you're using the point tool and select the scale to bounding box option, the point will become a rectangular template item. When you've added all your template items, you are ready to save your template. To do this, select save and name your template. Now click on the Layout tab. Select Apply Template from the Template menu. Select the template that you just created. Now you can drag and drop your images directly into the template items. Images will automatically resize to the proportions of the rectangular template items and will be placed at full size on the point template items. Once all your images have been placed, you're ready to rip and print your layout.